Good morning, everybody. It is 5.35 a.m. I am up bright and early this morning. I've been up since 4, and that is early for me. I'm getting ready to go outside. Hopefully, I can be outside before 6 live, but I'm getting ready to make me a little quick omelet, and yeah. Then I'm going to go outside and work on the van today. I'm about to finish my flooring. So I got uh, this stuff in the heat, radiant, sound deadening stuff. I got that in finally. So I'm about to uh, go live and put that down then i got to recut my floor out i got a lot of reconfiguration to do today so that's what i'm working on today so let's get started bright and early So I'm through making my omelet, y'all, and it looks so good. I'm about to say my grace. And EO, EO, Father God, we thank you for this food we're about to receive. In Jesus' holy name, amen. Y'all, yeah, my alarm just went off. It's 6 a.m. I'm already back here in the back. That's kind of a first for me to already be outside at 6. I got to go get my uh, stuff out the van, and uh, I need to restabilize this and spray that up um and then we're gonna get started on the floor so uh i got some stuff right here i need to put up and then i'm gonna get started So I can get started. It's looking a little overcast today. So I hope it don't be too cold. I mean, too hot today, cause it's looking a little overcast. This is what I got to get at the van. Two rolls of this, hopefully is enough for my floor. Hopefully enough. Okay, you guys, so let you know what my subflooring is going to consist of. It's going to consist of this sound deadening and then it's going to consist of this heat radiant sound deadening on top of that. And then it's going to consist of the mat 
on top of that and then the foam insulation on top of that and then the plywood on top of that and then eventually the linoleum on top of the plywood so that's what my foam uh what my floor subfloor is going to consist of so uh all i have to do is pull the rug back and then start putting this insulation underneath the rug and as you can see this is like rubberized and it's foam and that's what i have on my ceiling you guys and that stuff really does uh keep the heat out of the van so that's the process of what i'm about to do so because i had to put my mat back in because it went under the metal door up front it was harder for me to roll this on because i didn't have the product on hand before i put the door back up otherwise i could have put this down first so i'm kind of doing everything in reverse and it's actually making it harder uh but where there's a will there's a way i am gonna get it done but it just made it more work it made everything more work so from this side you can see i'm just holding the roll up pulling this paper up to reveal the adhesive part and step on, on it as I go. Try to make it flat as you can see. I'm straying away from my line a little bit. I don't have a gap in between. I can just take some more material and fill it in. Because I'm straying away from my, gap, my line a little bit, but it's okay. This product is very easy to work with, you guys, and I think it's going to make a big difference in the van insulation sound deadening and all of that so if anybody is interested in this product i will try to link it in the description box below hey y'all i got the mat all the way down and uh, now I have to go get a bucket of water and clean the floor. You guys i noticed that the mat wasn't quite aligned right so i had to take uh unscrew the bulkhead a uh, loose and uh pull my mat up and then try to just pull my mat back a little bit i thought i was gonna have to take the whole thing down but i didn't praise the lord but as you can see here i'm tightening everything back up and i have to put the mat uh back into place and sweep everything it was a long drawn out process you guys because i had to do everything in reverse so because i didn't trace out my pattern from the mat on top of my styrofoam i have to gather my other pieces and try to figure everything out um and go from there it's gonna be a little more work i have to go 10 inches farther back because the bulkhead i added the bulkhead and i didn't have it in at first so now i have to go 10 inches farther back and piece together uh the pieces that i had before to try to get my pattern uh, it made it a lot of work but i got it done so uh if you have something to draw your pattern with I suggest that you draw your pattern uh, down or if you have a mat 
Uh, just do all the decision making things that you need to do uh, beforehand and uh, you won't make more work for yourself the way I did. So because I made some changes to my configuration uh, and I've already had this cut out before, I have to cut everything else out again and piece it back together. So now I'm just cutting out my styrofoam and then I'm going to get a pattern that I can trace over to my wood and cut out my wood. Right here, because I did not trace my uh, styrofoam out with my mat, I'm using the pattern from the floor that I had cut out, but I have to go 10 inches back because now I have the bulkhead there and I'm going to have 10 inches additional to my wood. So I'm just using the wood. Uh, pattern to cut out the styrofoam so I can add that additional 10 inches in and cut it out on this piece of styrofoam and then eventually we're going to come back and trace it to the wood and get all our pieces to connect together. I know this seems uh, like a lot and you guys might not understand it but I already had this cut out and I did not like the way that I had it cut out and I decided to put the bulkhead back in. So I'm having to redo everything over.
So now that I have all my styrofoam pieces cut and fitted in the van, I am going to trace that pattern onto my plywood and cut my plywood out. And then that's how we're going to get our floor. So after I got my floor in, you guys, it is the next day and I am insulating uh, the bulkhead. And that is going to be it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. And I hope you guys got something out of the video. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye now.